just about 30 days away from recreational marijuana becoming the law of the land in Maryland. So what is it going to look like and how will the rollout compare to other states? Let's talk about what we can expect with Brandon Barksdale. He's been in the cannabis industry for more than a decade now. The co-CEO of Remedy Maryland. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hey, no problem. Thank you, Jim, for having me. We've seen a lot of states obviously go through this first medicinal and now many states moving to recreational. Uh, it's been tied up in Virginia. I know they're trying to advance that. D.C., obviously, it's a big ball of confusion for a lot of people. What's the rollout going to look like for Maryland? Uh, Maryland had a very progressive uh, medical cannabis market, and so I don't expect to see anything different when it comes to adult use. Uh, adult use will be a very, very hybrid um, hybrid approach. We were rolling out July 1, and we can expect to see um, probably around uh, three times the amount of patients uh, and customers that we typically would see uh, in a medical market. So it's going to be really exciting. Um, it's definitely going to be um, uh, new for Maryland, but yeah. you know we have a really good framework to go off of. Uh, from a legislative perspective. So I think everybody's really excited and we're all amped up and ready to go. And so are we going to see uh, dispensaries opening up on day one? Is that how this is, gonna, this is going to work in Maryland? That's correct, yeah. So dispensaries are going to be selling adult use products on July 1, um, and, uh, and they'll have additional licenses that will roll out later in 2024. But right now the um, original medical dispensaries that we're operating prior to will be um, – converting over to recreational um, dispensaries and will be live July 1. Now, for people who depend on medicinal marijuana, whether it be uh, whether it be the leaf form, whether it be oils or, or, or vape products, uh, will their access to these to this material be any different than what it is right now? No, access will be exactly the same. Um, you know, Remedy is actually creating, um, you know, more streamlined approaches for them to be able to access the, the medical products that they're typically used to in a uh, more expedited fashion. And uh, the adult use patients that, um, the adult use customers that will be coming online will, will be able to also access and, you know, from loyalty programs and, and um, different types of uh accesses that will, again, provide uh, expedited entry and queues to, until we get kind of caught up and the excitement kind of dies down. Yeah. Um, but, you know, for medical patients specifically, we for sure will have a dedicated uh, line of service to be able to service them the same way we have in the past. Well, it is certainly a big business, and we've seen this roll out in many states, and Maryland is just the latest in that list. Brandon Barksdale, thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Jim, for having me.